Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to achieve this fake dolly zoom effect in Premiere Pro. So to get started I'm going to press command I so that I can import the two clips that I'm going to use and the first thing that we need to talk about is the way that you need to shoot your footage in order to achieve this effect. So the first and the most important thing is that you need to shoot your clips in a resolution higher than you intend your final project to be. So the first clip, which is a couple walking on the beach, is shot in 4K and the final result is gonna be in Full HD, which is 1920 by 1080 p And the second clip is shot in Full HD and the final result is gonna end up being 1280 by 720 p which is just HD. So that's the first thing that you need to pay attention to. And then the second thing, which is how you need to shoot your footage, you either need your camera moving away from your subject or it needs to be moving towards your subject. So it's pretty much up to you. I'm gonna show you how to achieve the effect in both ways. Now, with the first clip, you can see that the drone right here is moving away from the subject and it's usable up until the point at which the drone starts moving upwards. So it's usable approximately up to here. So I'm going to hit mark out or you can press O on your keyboard and that's gonna set the out point for this clip. It doesn't have to be drone footage. You can also use a camera on a gimbal, but you have to be really precise with your movement. So I'm going to drop this clip into a new sequence and then the first thing that we need to do is downscale this sequence. So we're going to downscale this sequence to 1920 by 1080 and then hit OK. Since the clip is bigger than the sequence itself, we need to downscale the clip too. And then with this clip, I'm actually not happy with the way it looks because my couple is not centered. So I'm actually going to slightly increase the scale of this clip so that I have room to reposition the couple. And I'm also gonna change the rotation to negative one degrees so that I can straighten out the horizon line of this clip. And right now I'm pretty much happy with the way that this looks. If the camera is moving away from your subject, you're going to be adjusting the position and the scale of your clip at the end of the clip, which means that you have to create a position keyframe and the scale keyframe at the beginning of your clip first. Now, the next thing is going to be Alt or Option clicking on your clip, which is going to select the clip itself. And then while pressing Option, move it up to the second video track. Now you have a duplicate of your clip and then you're going to right click with the playhead at the beginning of the clip and add a frame hold. Now this clip is frozen in time and it's not gonna be changing over time, which is what we need as our reference frame. So we're going to select this clip and hit create four point polygon mask and we simply need a rough mask around our subject, which is this couple. And then you need to set the opacity down to 50%. So now when we move the playhead, you can see that temporary reference frame. I'm going to press the down arrow to move to the end of this clip. And then I'm gonna press the left arrow to move to the final frame of this clip. And right now, we can change the scale and the position. So make sure that you keyframe your clip at the beginning and now we can change the scale and the position to align the subject at the end with the subject at the beginning of the clip. And it doesn't have to be precise, you just need to roughly align your subject. And as you can see, I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks. So now I can set the playhead back at the beginning of the timeline and I can disable this clip because I might need it to make some adjustments. So now I can play back my clip and I can see that my result looks great. I'm happy with this and now I can delete the reference frame and you're done. You have achieved the effect. Now, if you film this in a different way, then 
you need to follow the rest of this tutorial. If you haven't, you're pretty much done. So with the second clip, the camera is moving towards the subject. So again, the first thing that we need to do is right click on this sequence to open up sequence settings. Then I need to change this editing mode so that I can downscale it and I can set the scale to 1280 by 720 hit OK and then once again you're gonna have to delete all the previews that's also OK and with this clip if we change the scale to 66.6% is gonna be scaled the right way so I'm just gonna scale it down to 67% so for this clip it's actually filmed pretty great and I don't have to readjust this subject so that it matches the center of the frame. But the thing is, if the camera is moving towards the subject, you're going to adjust the scale and the position at the beginning. So that's why you need to keyframe um, the scale and the position at the end of your clip, actually at the final frame. So we create those two keyframes, then we option click on the clip while holding option, we move it to the second track so that we can create our reference frame. Now you have to right click and add a frame hold, but as you can see, now this clip has been split into two clips. The second one actually is the final frame frozen and the first part of the clip is not frozen at all, so we're going to delete it. Then we're going to drag our reference frame all the way to the beginning so that its duration covers the entire clip. Now we can move to the beginning of the timeline and again create a simple mask around our reference frame just like that and then also change the opacity to 50%. And now since we have created the keyframes at the end of our clip we can adjust the position and the scale at the beginning of the clip and new keyframes are going to be created automatically. So let's do something here. Let's increase the scale so that we can match this and let's match the male with the reference frame like that. So that's a rough alignment and now I'm going to disable this clip right here. So what happens right now is we created this effect but the male remains centered. So what we actually want with this effect is the couple to come together and then stay centered. So we actually did this the wrong way. That's why we need to enable our reference frame once again and we're going to change this position back to its original value. Now for a clip of this resolution and this sequence, it's going to be 640. So now it's centered again. And as you can see, we pretty much matched the scale of our subject. If we needed to check that, we can actually move the reference frame. So you can see that the male aligns pretty well and then also the female aligns pretty well too. So now we can delete our reference frame and if we play this back, you can see that we actually achieved the dolly zoom effect. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you. For more tutorials like this one, please check out my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.